Hey everybody, Coach Leanne Clear here, and today I'm at Hackle Barney State Park. It's one of my favorite places to go hike, and today I really want to talk to you about something that a lot of people don't know about. So we're going to talk about the things that you thought could, were helping you with your fitness journey that really could actually and have been proven to not really help you. Subconsciously, they actually make you a lot worse off. going to talk about actually it's the only thing we're going to talk about is fitspiration so uh, i actually youtube female fitness inspiration and what came up was like this 30 minute long video of these really really hot chicks with like shredded abs and all this kind of stuff they're popping around and they're um you know working out and then they show their booty and all that kind of stuff and Believe me, this is something that I definitely did in the beginning of my fitness journey. I followed as many pages as possible that had these females that were super fit and all this kind of stuff. And um, it's a really, really good, you know, you you have really great intention when you go and you do it, right? You are really like, that's my goal. That, that That's what you think, right? You're like, put a picture of it up. I, I did all this thing. I had, the, and I had it as the screen on my, the home screen on my phone and everything of that nature. And recently I actually realized um, that it wasn't helping me at all and that it was actually causing really negative body image for myself. So I was looking at these and I was like, I'm never gonna look like that. And even after two, two, three years of being in the fitness industry, I realized that I was following people who had totally different body types than I did totally different body types than I did. I was also following people who are fitness models, who it's literally their job to look like that. And um, I wasn't following anything that was really educating me. So there was also a study done too. And I was so happy because I had this theory that fitspiration actually hurt people's progress. And that following really, really fit people where they're models and you know, they get paid to be fit pretty much. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I had this theory and it was just a personal theory and everybody's different. So like maybe it did inspire some people, but I, I am an ACE professional and they sent, they sent us fitness journals all the time. And there was a study in there. It was a smaller sample size. I will say, I think it was uh, about a hundred people and they had them go in and, and just look at some images and look at some ads and stuff like that. And one group had a lot of uh, vacation type posts and images and videos and another one had a had a lot of fitness based ones and the ones that were very fitness based yes it was really great because there was that positive aspect of they wanted to become more more fitness conscious they wanted to go and increase their fitness and all that kind of stuff and it was that's a great part but the scientist and um, the doctor that was doing this study also said that the negative side effects like negative body image were also very, very prevalent for these people. They felt really dis, um, uncomfortable in their own skin. They felt dissatisfied with where they were and how their body was. And unfortunately, stuff like that can really cause a lot of stress for you, can cause a lot of psychological damage, and that can actually make you give up before you actually, um, before you're actually getting anywhere. You know, in a fitness journey, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going past the times when you're not really seeing results on your body. And um, so it was really cool. I don't wanna make this video too long. It was really cool to see that, you know, something that I had thought about and that I had noticed about my own journey was real. And it's happened to a bunch of other people. So the biggest advice that I could give to you is one, really get, Get interested about how you're really reacting to your Fitspiration pages. How do you feel after you scroll through Instagram and you see all of these fit people? Just take a, take a look and, and really investigate your own situation because everybody is different. Maybe it really does inspire you. If you're a really competitive person, it's possible that it really just inspired you more than it demotivates you. But if you're feeling a little like, I could never reach that, I'm never gonna get there. If you hear yourself saying stuff like that, then the odds are that you're probably shouldn't be following them. And my suggestion for you is to educate yourself instead. Follow fitness pages, follow fitness, whoop, I almost tripped. <laughs> follow fitness pages that offer you insight and education about the body. And that really always, you know, their motivation is more, more, more through education and inspiration. 
All right, guys, so I hope that this video helped you. If it did, make sure you give it a like, and I will see you guys later.